the people that were running ESPN at that time were not hockey fans. They didn't see any money in it. They chose to go different directions. Um, there were some issues that, you know, they, I don't know. I wasn't in those rooms, as I like to say, yeah, yeah. to know what really went down there between, you know, the hierarchy of the NHL, including Gary Bettman and the people that were running ESPN. Then. They, to me, they, they, I think both sides didn't see a uh, big picture. But I think there was a reason why Gary left. I, tr I, re I really like Gary Bettman. I think he's an underrated commissioner. I think he's accomplished so much with the National Hockey League. Nobody's perfect. Uh, but, you know, uh, I, I they, you can't argue with the sports growth. Yeah. I mean, people should be talking about him more of what he's accomplished. But um, when I knew I, I didn't wait for looking at my phone to see we got it back. I knew it was coming because when Jimmy Pataro took over, uh, ran things for ESPN. He attended a town hall meeting in LA. I had just gotten there, as a matter of fact, it was probably in my first year that I was out in LA. And I remember we had, it was a Q and A thing. And, you know, I was ready to ask him about the NHL coming back to ESPN, if that's a possibility. And someone beat me to it. It was like the second, first or second question asked mm -hmm. to Jimmy about it. And he didn't even blink an eye. And, and cause the question was posed, what sports product would you like to go after now that you're, you know, running the show, the NHL? I mean, literally, it was that quick. Jimmy grew up a Rangers fan in Westchester County, loves hockey, and he made it happen in a few years. And that's just the guy that gets it, knows it, knows how to grow something. And I think the first year um, at ESPN with the NHL back, yeah, there were like uh, some things, even me as a fan. See, I watch it as a hockey fan. Too, you know, I played the game, I as a hockey fan. There were some things I didn't like, but there were some things I really liked. True. And I think it can only get better. Same with TNT. I mean, I'm glad they're aboard. There were yeah. some things I really like with TNT. They're doing a great job. They're both yeah. the, the coverage has been fantastic. It's like yeah. they split and then there NBC. Some things I didn't like. They split NBC into these two factions and they're similar but different. Like they both come from the same love of the sport and you know, one thing that a hockey, I thought, made the decision, and I think NBC helped them, is stop trying to make people in Nebraska like you. I yeah. think the key is make sure people in Detroit love you and people in Philadelphia love you and make sure yeah, you're, you get you're pacifying wrong. them. Yeah, you can't get it wrong. And I still think there's a there's stuff to learn. I think in the second year, um, I'm looking forward to seeing what adjustments are made just to follow your point regarding don't lose the core hockey fan who, yeah, for 17 years really got used to NBC doing it. Sure. Um, that's a generation. That's, that's a whole yeah. group of young adults. Right. That's right. And then they're, they're the old people that were like, bring back Gary Thorne. Where's yeah. Gary? You know, where Gary's Gary coming Thorne on the show in uh, September. We just had Peter McNabb about three weeks ago. And Gary Thorne said that he's uh, he's he's on vacation. But when he comes back to uh, life in September, Gary Thorne, Gary Thorne called the single greatest hockey game I've ever seen. The uh, the Devils, Chicago. 1988 uh, John McClain overtime winner to make the playoffs for the first time in their history. And Gary Thorne and Peter McNabb did that, that game. And so my whole idea is I'm going to try to be as professional as I have been on this podcast. I'm going to turn into a 12 year old boy when I have Gary Thorne on. I don't feel guilty about that. I mean, my God, I can't tell you how many times I turn into like, just this like, oh, wow, well, I'm so excited. You know, you know, I still get that when Mark Messier walks in the studio, oh, I'm you know, sure. I mean, it's like, Right, so you know like giving Dave way, the, greatest ride, right. ever, that, uh, the greatest game ever now gary also called this game but i was listening to howie rose at the time but of yeah. course the classic i'm sorry seth game seven uh -huh. 1994 uh, -huh. uh rangers devils double uh -huh. overtime mateau 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 i remember the greatest I remember. ever uh you know to me game I remember where i yeah, was adam henrique goal though uh, not just bad. resonates not bad in 20 uh 2012 there just just, <laughs> just saying not um, bad. I, I was at working that day and i was crushed i can still <laughs> see like henrik lundquist looking for the puck crawling yeah. on all fours what yeah. what happened <laughs> i i knew it was bad i knew it you know so but, you know what goes around comes around yep when uh when so espn gets hockey back is that your mindset to say i gotta get in on this or did they come to you how, how does that come about because you know 
you you could have said, look, you know, I'm I'm kicking butt on this studio stuff, but maybe that's best for me. And I, I just don't see your personality doing that. No. Uh, as soon as I found out, I found out who were the people that are the decision makers. And I, you know, I pitched myself. Yeah. You know, we all have representation, but I still got on the phone with people I've known for decades and sure. said, you know what, here's some ideas and I'd love to be a part of it. You know, I'm not saying I didn't go on the phone and say, oh, I want to do this, 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 this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I talk to young people all the time. You do that. That's just a turnoff. Yeah. It doesn't matter who you are, how long you've been with a company. Yeah. Uh, it's a team. And you have to come across as like you care about the team. And here are some suggestions. And here are some things I know I'd be good at. And I really would appreciate an opportunity to do it. Uh, I, you know, pitched my case uh, to the people involved. And I kept plugging uh, through the year. There were some ups and downs. Uh, not with my, honestly, not, I didn't feel and all the people and real hockey fans in the hockey community who are watching me, um, there weren't ups and downs with me, but it was just in the decision making. And so I, you know, they still wanted me more in a studio situation, you know, hosting in the crease, the highlight show on ESPN plus, which, you know what, they cared a little bit more about it. than once we got hockey back, I had that show even before we had hockey back. But no one knew it existed and barely. Uh, and I still think they need to promote that more, that there's a place to go after these games. end. it's called in the crease and it's just strictly highlights. And I was hosting it. 